We're gonna get new gates. Oh yeah? These are just old. I'm not impressed by this gate. Sorry, it's artsy. Wrong side of the car. <laughs> hey, me and Jerry are going to meet John John Florence. Um, he's spending his final days in his childhood house, moving into his new house on his way, on his way back from Bali. He's already back from Bali. He's on his way to Africa. Um, yeah, we're just gonna hang out with him for the day. See what's up. I think John John is the first surfer to come along who's truly as good as Kelly Slater or will be as good or even better than Kelly Slater. There's been a lot of great surfers in between. Believe me, I'm an Andy Irons fan till the day I die. But there's something different about John John. He's, he's tapped into what Slater has figured out and he's taken it to the next level because he is the next generation. When I had to get my license, it was the hardest thing to find someone with a legal car. And then I failed it four times. How old were you? 20. But you just go straight on the North Shore. Oh, can you guys see the turtles? Go real slow, like two miles an hour. We can maybe see a turtle. Oh wait, should we let these Japanese people cross really quick? Okay, let's go. Oh, look at the turtle. These tourists drive around the island and they go like five miles under the speed limit. Wait, look at this hipster tree. Isn't it a hipster tree? What makes that tree a hipster? I don't know, doesn't it seem like a hipster to take a photo of it? And... Can you open the gate, Evan? Look at our garden in the corner. See our garden in the corner over there? Made a salad off that thing the other night. Super rootsy. Those are all carrots. And we got lettuce, basil, sweet potato. The arugula is really good. Try a piece of this. Try that thing. It's quite strong. Whoa, it is really good. Let's check out your treehouse. Artsy. You're such a hipster. Hang out back here with your Leica, <laughs> taking pictures of your garden. <laughs> this is the spot though. And there's waves, there's like 10 of us sitting up here just like watching it. It's funny because it barely feels like it's holding three of us. Yeah. <laughs> and so Pipe is just on the inside of the, the sand there. Pipe is right where that guy sit, that long bar sitting. It's sick when it's big, you like, it always looks good from here no matter what. You're looking right into it. Yeah. Come here. Kelly bought the house next door, so he's over here. Is that why you're moving? Shh. <laughs> Don't tell him. What do you guys want to do next? Want to go check out your new place? Yeah. You've got such good people watching from here. Yeah. You're going to miss that in your new quiet neighborhood down the beach? Kind of. But I mean, like I said, we're going to keep this house as long as we can, so. So you're moving away from mom. Moving away from mom. Is she sad? She is sad. That's the new house right there, that green one. This is where the key is. <laughs> There's nothing in here right now. We haven't moved in yet. Except for like a kite and stuff. And some ugly couches. They're not real couches though. They're just for the time being. The ways are actually fun out here. I think my family will probably move into this one eventually. So it's like this whole property. Oh, you have that house too? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make that one super nice and then move into that one. I can't wait to get this thing started. Sick, huh? Yeah. Wow. See, it's just a frame. But like, I'm gonna keep it so it's like a high ceiling like that. Maybe. Are you gonna keep it kind of open? Well, this whole part will be open right here. That's all right. It's nice like looking out. It's so, like the perfect size house too. Yeah. I like how the deck has no railings on it. Yeah. I mean, someone will probably fall off it eventually at some kind of party <laughs> or something, but. And you can like keep your family close, but they don't have to be. Exactly. It's definitely gonna be fun. <laughs> so how long's your walk to Pipe gonna be now? I think I'll have to drive there now. I can check it though. And then we're gonna build a platform in the tree up here. So I wanna do something similar and put like a little round staircase up to it so you can see everywhere. I don't know what else you guys want to see. What kind of stuff have you been shooting? Like, as video or? Yeah, photo, or, or photos. just photos. Um, I've been shooting a lot of film stuff, like black and white stuff lately. I've been super into black and white. I got back a bunch of my photos from Bali and Fiji. I took so many, like shot so many rolls of film, but they came out so sick, I was so psyched. 
There's a couple of super cool ones. You got them on your phone? Yeah, I have a couple on here. But like. And what do you shoot these with? My Leica, I like that one a lot. So I was like driving and then I didn't even know I got all that like lens. Like, That's just driving? Yeah, I was like driving by. Out. And I just held it out the window and took it. Have you ever done anything with, with your photos? Like, uh... Um, no, I'm kind of just saving them up. Yeah. It's like trippy. This is Fiji. Kelly, like, um, <laughs> he, um, gave money for the jerseys for the rugby team in Fiji. He's like, yeah, you guys do whatever you want with the jerseys, you know, and they put his name on it. And he's just like, that was the only thing I wouldn't have wanted you guys to have done to put my name on it. The Kelly Slaters. Yeah. And then they cooked this, like, we went into the village and they cooked this big meal for us, like, in the thing. The tree was sick. That's a hipster tree. That is a hipster tree. Reflection hipsters. Yeah, I like taking photos a lot. It takes my mind off everything else. Did shooting for movies get you into your photography stuff, or did they kind of go the other way around? Um, it kind of went the other way around. Like the photography side of it, kind of got me into shooting for movies and stuff. What do you uh, What do you shoot the the stuff where you're surfing and holding it? Like behind Nathan? Yeah. That was a GoPro. That was just a GoPro. Yeah. Wow, it looks sick. Those Were you just holding it? I had it in my mouth. I had it in your mouth. The one that I made behind him was the second wave we tried it on with the camera, and I was just tripping out. I was like, holy shit, that was so sick. What do you put like a mount on it? To, to, it's like, got like a little a squishy big... thing. It's made for like a bike helmet. It's just like a little round thing like this, but it's small. It's like a little square like this big. And we just wrapped it like foam around it and you just bite, bite it. I like personally enjoy working on these little projects. It's like its yeah. own mini, mini movie, you know? It's like a little project. Like here we were just shooting me and my friends having fun pretty much. Like driving through puddles and jumping off rocks and just whatever we wanted to. And like it was really fun. So we had all this random stuff and then just really good surf stuff because there's waves here every single day. You directed Done with Blake. Was that the first one you directed? Yeah, I guess so. that was like the first thing I've kind of really done. And then all the little projects we've been doing has been the same thing. It's just been like, I'll think of a really good idea and then I'll text Blake right away. And then he'll be like, yeah, that'd be sick. But what if we did this too? And then like you add on to it and you just kind of build these like big things. And it's like, it comes out sick. And what got you psyched on doing your own movies? We have a tight little pack here at home. And it's like, me, Nathan, Ivan, um, Koa, Kieran, Eli, and you know, a couple other people, and it's just like, that's our group, and we kind of like, it's fun, we all go to Tahiti together, we all do these little trips You guys together. all grew up together. We all grew up together, and we all hang out together every single day. And so I like, I kind of just like hanging out with my friends like that, and then just like making little things like that, you know? It seems like it makes sense as fast as surfing's progressing now. If you hold on to footage for a year. Yeah, exactly. But. I don't know, I, I find it hard to like just make a quick web edit that doesn't, like you didn't really put any time into and like it seems like clips kind of just go to waste, you know? Uh, Done, we had a lot of fun because I funded it pretty much myself. You know, some of my sponsors put a little money into it, but it was like mostly me, so I had no one, it was just whatever me and Blake wanted to do. There's no one telling us like, hey, you guys have to have it in by this time and you have to do this and this and this and... Those are mongooses. Yeah, I just saw that. They're like squirrels. Ivan, how's those mongooses? Did you get it, Ivan? I trapped the mongoose in the trash can. We're gonna keep them. I have rabies. Those things are like impossible to catch, first of all. I kinda want it as a pet now. What? Look at this. Look at this thing, Ivan. I've heard horror stories about mongooses. What kind of horror stories? <laughs> They're diseases. <laughs> and sharp teeth. You're gonna get mongoose disease. Okay, Ivan, just now, just when we do it, I'm gonna lean. We'll lean it up to it, and then just hold the edge open a little bit on that side. Got it. Oh, there you go. Oh, We gotta put something over him. That was scary. He hopped the fence. Oh, it's probably better. It would probably die. <laughs>